Greetings in the Lord. Our verse today is from Luke chapter 7, verse 34. The Son of Man has come, eating and drinking. And you say, Look, a gluten and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Dear friends, our verse is drawn from the background of the public rejection which Jesus and John the Baptist received from the people of their generation. Jesus and John represent two different approaches to God and his kingdom. John was leading his disciples to fast for Israel's sins, while Jesus was celebrating the kingdom like a wedding feast. Each of them did what was appropriate to his mission. Both were popular in their approaches and attracted crowd of followers. But despite this popularity, their generation rejected their approaches. Our verse is a contrast with the previous one, where Jesus presents the approach of John the Baptist. He says, For John came neither eating nor drinking, and you say he is possessed. Luke 7, 33. They charge John of being possessed of a demon, and charge Jesus of being a drunkard a friend of tax collectors and sinners. And by this, they imply that Jesus was a sinner. Beloved in Christ, oftentimes we hear the saying, people are talking. The question is, what are they talking about? What are they saying? The fact is that people must always talk, whether good or bad. It did not begin with our generation, nor will it end with our generation. Jesus experienced it, and John the Baptist also did. But for those who choose to be talking, remember that the world is full of contraries. We have night and day, sun and rain. Some people are introverts, others are extroverts. Some are light-skinned, others are dark in complexion. We must realize that no one is better, and no one is worse. Everybody cannot be the same, and it is not a problem. The problem here lies in individual dispositions. Some people have drawn a little box of behavior pattern, and when you don't fit into their little box, they talk about you. Why do you worry yourself? This is also a challenge in marriages and relationships today. Some men draw up a box of behavior pattern they expect their wives to, to fit into. And same with the women. And when the partner fails to fit into that little box, it becomes a cause of marital problem. We must learn to respect diversity and uniqueness and to appreciate and accommodate people as they are for a peaceful marriage and relationship. This verse has a lot to teach us in our relationship with one another. One, it helps us to know that Whatever approach you take in life, whatever you do, you can never please everybody. Trying to please everybody is like trying to empty the whole water in a river into your small bucket. This is called mission impossible. It is a mission unto death. Number two, imposing your own standard on others has a disastrous consequence. There should be mutual understanding in the case of spouses and in relationships. Number three, everybody cannot be you or be like you. There is need to respect individual differences. If fasting for 40 days and 40 nights continuously will lead you to heaven, safe journey. And if preferring to do works of charity and bringing joy into people's lives without fasting every day will take me to heaven, then we shall meet in heaven. Number four, no matter your fame or popularity, there are people who will reject you. Every public or famous person must have critics. Know this and have your peace. There are people to whom your goodness is offensive, that you are living well with your spouse and your family, and that you are making progress in life is an offense to some people. Number five, this verse also teaches us that God has different kinds of servants for different missions, but God's people must embrace them all. 
6. No matter people's opinion about you, what is important is what God declares about you and your place in the presence of God. And so as people speak against you, may God raise a voice in your favor and may your good deeds win you a place in his kingdom. Amen. God bless you.